so we're going to go home. We came to the park. I needed to do some calendar stuff for this week. Um, but now we're going to go home and have lunch. And then we're going to go out again. Not here, though. It's kind of cold. So we're going to go find somewhere else that's in the sunlight so that it's nice and warm. Wait, Wait there's a car. So, yeah, we're going to go home now. Uh, and then I'll update later. Let's go. So, uh, I woke up and I have a sore throat. No coughing yet, which is good. But I do feel overall achy. Kind of dead. <laughs> uh, so. But I'm still working on the things that I need to get done and getting the things that need to be done done. I've been taking care of the house still, even though I don't really feel all that great. And yeah, so. I'm just pushing through, basically. Soldiering on. Big This is his house, this is our bear guy's house. I'm doing my Bible studying and then I'm going to read and then I think we're supposed to go out and then when we get back it's dinner time and then it's bathing time for tomorrow and then it'll be bedtime and then tomorrow's church. Um, Sharon from church asked us to stay a little longer after service because her daughter's having a birthday party. so. Um, so we're all gonna eat the Logan, cake. Logan and Lucas get to stay and have some cake. What, at, so yeah. At evening, and we can look at her, the girls' presents. And then we'll be going back for our evening fellowship, and I'll try to do a little bit of uh, dot, uh, like Snapchatting. I don't know if it'll work out though. I try not to. We will eat the girls' cake. We'll see. We will I'll try. My. Because I want you guys to see how lovely the service is. It's the service is actually very beautiful, and it it breathes life into me for the whole week. And so, yeah. And uh, tomorrow, um, because it's the first Sunday of the month, they said that they're doing their communion supper, which is basically um, in remembrance of the last supper Jesus had with his uh, apostles. So... Or, or were they disciples? I don't remember if it's disciples or apostles. I'm still new to this, so don't don't quote me. But I think he had 12 apostles or disciples. Yeah, and then um, they had a last supper. Anyway, so the communion in the beginning of the month is in remembrance of that last supper Jesus had with his disciples. $300 worth of crystals. I already threw out $150 worth of it. I ripped up all my false teachings. All of it. This painting saves you. I threw out thousands of dollars worth of books and merchandise. You have merchandise? I, I, I think I'm supposed to get rid of this too. Baby, I forgot to give you this. No, can you give me it? Cause I, it's cause all going. All going. So we're at the park now. The sun is nice and shiny and when the wind's not blowing it's nice and warm but when the wind is blowing it's super cold and we won't be here that much longer because well we have to go door dashing in like 
15, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So I just get to stand here in the sunlight for a little bit and enjoy the day while the kids play in the park. I really like the sun. I can't wait for it to get sunnier and warmer. Super excited for warmer weather. So yeah. So we're here for now and I'm probably just going to read the Bible for a bit. So we're doing some DoorDash and Lucas saw a mosquito and freaked out. My poor little baby was so scared. Lucas. <laughs> Can you do me? Lucas got scared. Just give me a minute. Ah, I can see myself. Does Zappa have a thumb? <laughs> no. No. It Let's can't see. detect a face. Let's see move. It can't detect their face? Yeah. It makes my hair look really golden. So I'm home now. Um, I had a shower. I did the dishes. I uh, cleaned the counters. Johnny swept the floor. We got the kids in bed and showered and we're ready for tomorrow for church. Everything's laid out and ready to go. Ties, shoes, pants, shirts, my dress, and my um, sash that I'm going to wear so that I'm not showing too much skin. Um, I'm so excited. And then I'm hoping, well, I'll snap before when I'm in the parking lot and I'll try to snap inside, but pretty much I try not to, even though the pastor doesn't really mind. Um, I just, I try not to, you know, it's respect. But um, tomorrow we're going to be finishing the documentary um, called American Gospel. And um, I, I can't wait to finish it. I was crying the last time when I was watching it. And I ended up watching it on YouTube when I got home. But it wasn't the full it wasn't the full one. It was like a different one. So I'm hoping that um, they have the both of them because there was supposed to be um, American Gospel, a, a story of Christ, and then Christ Crucified. So I'm hoping they have Christ Crucified because I've been wanting to watch that one. So we'll see. I'm so excited though. But for now, we're going to say a little prayer. We're going to do one for the children. And we're going to do one as prayer warrior. Okay, so the first one for the children. Let's do this one. Okay, ready? Here we go. Lord, I submit myself to you. I realize that parenting a child in the way you would have me to is beyond my human abilities. I know I need you to help me. I want to partner with you and parent and partake of your gifts of wisdom, discernment, revelation, and guidance. I also need your strength and I also need your strength and patience along with a generous portion of your love flowing through me. Teach me how to love the way you love, where I need to be healed, delivered, uh, changed, matured, or made whole. I invite you to do that in me. 
uh, help me to walk in righteousness and integrity before you. Teach me your ways, enable me to obey your commandments, and do only what is pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name I pray. And now, let's do the prayer warrior. Here's a good one. Lord, I pray you will help me build my life on a solid foundation. I know there is no more solid foundation than that which is built on I know there is no more solid foundation than that which is built on the rock, which is you, Jesus and your word. Um, no matter what is shaking around me, you give me a foundation that can never be shaken or destroyed. Help me to always keep in mind that I am instrumental in the war between you and your enemy, and victory in my life depends on my willingness to hear your call to pray. I know this is spiritual warfare you want me to engage in, and prayer is the battle. Teach me, Lord, to hear your call and to pray in power the way you want me to. In Jesus' name, I pray. And then it also referenced First Corinthians three eleven, which is no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So, with that, I want to wish everybody a wonderful Saturday evening, and thank you for joining me every day and watching my videos and seeing how things go. Um, I'm actually feeling a lot worse. From the sickness that I have so I'm gonna head off to bed after reading Proverbs 31 like I do every night and uh, I hope everybody is blessed and God blesses you all and Jesus blesses you all and I can't wait to talk to you more tomorrow and show you some more of the other part of my life so God bless you all Amen